now we'll see the classification of the bacteria so bacteria are classified on the basis of their shape and uh, on the basis of their shape they are classified into cocci and the bacilli and after after that they are further classified on the basis of their gram staining property so if a bacteria after gram staining comes out to be purple or violet in color that will be called as gram positive and if it comes out to be pink in color that will be called as gram negative so see here how we have classified the bacteria on the shape we on the basis of shape the bacteria are either cocci or bacilli now cocci are spherical in shape and bacilli are elongated in shape after uh, the classification on the basis of shape they are uh, classified on the basis of their gram staining property into gram positive gram negative similarly bacilli also gram positive gram negative so the gram positive cocci to which we are more concerned uh, in our microbiology subject of the mbbs are the staphylococcus and the streptococcus these are the two most important gram positive cocci to which we are more concerned similarly the gram negative cocci to which we are more concerned are the gonococcus and the meningococcus they are otherwise known as the nigeria gonococcus is otherwise called as nigeria gonori and meningococcus is called as or the other name of meningococcus is nigeria meningitidis if we come uh, if we see the gram positive bacilli so uh, to remember the names of the gram positive bacilli i have made a mnemonic that is the mcdonald okay obviously you all have must have you all must have gone to the mcdonald so by that um, mcdonald you can remember the names of the gram positive bacilli to which we are concerned in the microbiology and after this uh, lecture you must uh, remember these names whenever you approach to the mcdonald or you go to the or visit the mcdonald okay by that you can remember it for your lifetime so uh, by mcdonald you can remember the names of the bacilli gram positive bacilli like m4 mycobacterium a4 anthracis B c4 corine bacterium d4 diphtheri uh, on you can make it opposite no so no means nocardia m a4 actinomyces l4 listeria and d4 diphtheroids and the gram negative bacilli to which we are concerned are the vibrio proteus e coli klebsiella pseudomonas and bordetella there are some other gram negative bacilli also but uh, the gram negative bacilli which we need to learn more are these only so this is all about the classification of the bacteria we have read now uh, the cocci are further classified okay so how are those cocci further classified we will see that next so classification of the cocci further so uh, this classification of the cocci further is based on the biochemical tests we have uh, read that the gram positive cocci to which we are more concerned are the staphyl staphylococcus and the streptococcus but here we will see some broad classification of the gram positive cocci so gram positive cocci on the basis of the biochemical test that is called as catalase test we can divide into two types gram positive cocci may be either catalase positive or maybe catalase negative catalase positive uh, the uh, catalase positive gram positive cocci are uh, do belong to a family that is called as micrococcaceae family the catalase negative belong to streptococcaceae family okay so what is the important point about these two families micrococcaceae family the important point is that they are arranged in clusters or tetrads while the streptococcaceae family are arranged in chains or pairs okay then we will see the streptococci, streptococci family when we will read the streptococci bacilli so for the time being we will uh, we will be more focusing on the micrococcaceae family so micrococcaceae family is further classified on the basis of the Hughes and Lipson's oxidative fermentative test, H. Love test, okay, Hughes and Lipson oxidative fermentative test. So uh, based on that test, a, a bacteria may be can be either oxidative or can be 
fermentative so if the bacteria comes out to be oxidative it will be micrococcus and if it is fermentative then that will be staphylococcus what is the difference between micrococcus and staphylococcus remember these are the two bacteria micrococcus and staphylococcus which belong to the micrococci family okay and the difference between them is that micrococcus is a non pathogenic bacteria and that is a, a normal commensals on the human body while staphylococcus is a pathogenic and this is arranged in clusters okay grape like clusters uh, is the arrangement of the staphylococcus while the micrococci are arranged in tetras like this in tetrads in this way the micrococcus are arranged so uh, the micrococcus family can be differentiated on the basis of the hugh and lipson oxidative fermentative taste micrococcus is oxidative and staphylococcus is fermentative okay